So, hello YouTube, this is uh, first for me. Uh, I'm going to do like a sort of a pickups video, although uh, it's more of a, an acquisitions video really because I didn't actually pick any of this stuff up myself. They were all uh, Christmas presents. Uh, so they were picked up uh, for me on behalf of various members of my family. So uh, yeah, thanks for that, always appreciated. So, um, I'm going to start with all the uh, the PlayStation stuff that I got, but I did get some stuff on other systems as well, so I'll, uh, I will sort of flash that up at the end. Um, but yeah, I'll start with this, uh, Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. Uh, this is an RPG. Uh, it's like a, a kind of an old school RPG, really, like a kind of a Western RPG. Um, meant to be really good. Uh, it's got uh, 150 awards apparently, according to the uh, sticker on the front there, and uh, apparently 100 hours plus uh, of quests, which uh, yeah, definitely my sort of thing. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get around to playing this. Um, I actually want to play Baldur's Gate 2 uh, on the iPad because that's like one of the original kind of uh, Western RPGs um, in this kind of style. And I'm going to probably get around to playing that at some point in the year, uh, next year. Um, and then I'm going to have a go at this because uh, I think this looks really interesting. Um, next up, we got another RPG uh, in the same sort of style, actually, another Western RPG, Wasteland 2. Um, now, I'm a funny kind of gamer that I like to play things sequentially. I, I, I always like to start off with the first game in the series of something, uh, which you know makes sort of playing games like Zelda uh, quite tough if you sort of get into them recently because you've got uh, tons and tons of titles to go through. Uh, series like Castlevania as well. If you've discovered Castlevania in sort of the last five years, you've got an absolute ton of games to get through. Uh, this one not so much. This this is uh, just the second uh, iteration of uh, this this series, Wasteland Two, which um, is actually a kind of a precursor to Fallout, the Fallout series. Um, and I did actually look into playing the original um, of this, the original Wasteland, because it, it came out on you know some really old systems. Uh, like one Commodore sixty four was one of them. And obviously, you can, it's quite easy to emulate Commodore 64, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I might just jump straight into this one. Um, I think it looks pretty good. It's like a post-apocalyptic Western RPG. Um, yeah. And I think that's all for the, uh, the PS4 stuff. But I did get a PS3 game. Uh, another RPG, Lost Dimension. Um, I've heard quite a bit about this actually um, it meant to be really good um, something about that you're climbing up a tower and every time you get to a new floor you have to kill somebody in your party so that I don't know the idea of that sort of intrigued me uh, so I uh, put that on my Christmas list apparently this is quite short um, for an RPG you know bear in mind that Definity Original Sin is over a hundred hours apparently. This apparently clocks in at about twenty hours, uh, which you know I don't mind. Um, twenty hours is still a pretty hefty chunk of time. Uh, maybe not for an RPG, but for a game in general, it's pretty good. Uh, and I don't know. Sometimes you know that's a, a good amount of time. Uh, twenty hours. It's uh, it, you know it can sort of not over outstay its welcome. So, uh, yeah, look forward to getting into that. I might tackle this one sooner rather than later. So that's uh, the, the, the sole PS3 game I got, but I did actually get a surprise. This wasn't on my list, and this is something that my brother kind of slipped in through the back door. Um, it's, an, it's a PS2 game. It's another RPG. There's a bit of a trend going on here. I've got a lot of RPGs this year. Um, this... Dog Island, the Dog Island. Um, now, apparently, there's a few Let's Plays. I've never heard of this game, but there's a few Let's Plays kicking around on YouTube of this, and uh, it's meant to be quite fun. It came out on the Wii as well. Uh, it's by Ubisoft. Um, and there's a game that I played on PS2, funnily enough, around about sort of Christmas time a couple of years ago called uh, 
Dog's Life, uh, which is kind of like a 3D platformer. It's kind of kind of fun. Um, it's maybe not the, the you know the best produced game out there, but uh, I kind of enjoyed it. It's the sort of thing I like. Uh, 3D platformers. I'm a big fan of 3D platformers. Uh, this is actually an RPG, but it's I think it's got a kind of a similar vibe to a Dog's Life. Uh, so yeah, cheers, uh, Dave, my brother. I look forward to checking this one out for sure um okay so that's it for the uh the playstation uh games but i did get a few games on other systems as well exclusives i normally go for uh, you know cross-platform on playstation if i can and you know i like to pick up the, all the playstation exclusives really if i like the look of it but you know i've got a, a wii u i've got an xbox one so if ever uh an exclusive comes out that looks like it could be up my street i normally try and get hold of it uh so for the wii u i got devil's third uh which apparently isn't getting very good reviews but i don't know i just like the look of it it's a, i think it's kind of like a, a melee action game crossed with a, a cover shooter type thing um i want to give it a go anyway even if it's bad i don't care because uh you know it's an exclusive on the wii u and there's not a whole lot of them that really um, appeal to me, so I thought I'd, you know, try this one out. Um, the other one is the other uh, the Wii U exclusive that kind of caught my eye, and that's um, Rodia, the Sky Soldier. Uh, again, this is kind of up my street, maybe, not been getting very good reviews, um, but I don't really care about reviews, to be honest with you, I like to make up my own mind about games. And um, this is, I think it's like a 3D platformer, that's what I heard, and I like 3D platformers. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd give this a go. It's uh, got a bonus game with it, which I think is the Wii version. I'm not sure how the Wii version differs from the Wii U version, if it's just a, uh, the same game, but obviously downgraded from the Wii U, or if it's a completely different game. Um, and I've also heard that the Wii version is better than the Wii U version as well. Uh, but yeah, I look forward to checking this one out. And finally, I got a, an Xbox One game and another exclusive that is quite, I suppose it's one of the launch titles for Xbox One. But um, I wanted to check it out. It's this uh, Rise Son of Rome. Uh, now, there was a game that came out on the PS2 uh, way back called. Um, Shadow of Rome, I think it was called, uh, by Capcom, and I really liked that, that was a really good game, it had um, some pretty gruesome combat in it, where you could decapitate people, you could cut their legs off and then grab their legs and at attack them with their legs and arms, and it was it was pretty good, I liked it, and I liked the setting as well. Now I'm not sure if this is going to be anything like that, but it's uh, it's an action game based in Rome, so... I might like it, and it's made by Crytek as well, who, uh, you know, have got some credentials behind them. So, uh, yeah, that's my Christmas haul. Um, really looking forward to getting into some of these games. Um, I hope you all had a good Christmas, or whatever you celebrate this time of year. Um, and I'm going to be, yeah, spending Boxing Day doing some gaming. Um, good times. Uh, so thanks, and I'll see you later.